it's peach and patty welcome back to vlogmas welcome back to my vlog but i was just thinking about it and i was like people only like to call vlogs vlogs if they're moving around and they're showing themselves moving around but every video for me is a vlog that's why i call myself a lifestyle vlogger because life isn't just moving around showing places what you're doing who you're hanging with your life is your thoughts, sharing your thoughts and things on stuff. Sometimes it is just staying in the house. There's a misuse of the word vlog. I don't know, I just, I think about stuff like this. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to say it's Sunday, it's four o'clock and I'm just now like moving out of the house. I finally like got dressed, I was in my pajamas all day, but I never get to sleep in. I always go to work, I'm always staying at work late. It's usually dark by the time I get home. <laughs> So I don't know, I just liked being in my place, enjoying the natural light, watching TV, enjoying these things that I work so hard to put around me but I never get to enjoy really during the weekdays. So yeah, but now I'm finally headed out. I got a list of things to do. Um, I actually wrote a list of things I have to do. I hope I get a majority of them finished. Ooh, I just remembered. <laughs> sorry but I just remembered I bought some jeans I love H&M jeans they are the best jeans in the world in my opinion They're reasonably priced H&M jeans I either want to trade them for some acid wash ones or um, some ones with like uh, cuts or holes in them I know it's winter but you know I just I already have black jeans one of my key pieces of clothing because black jeans in my opinion you can sneak those into the workplace with like a nice blouse and nobody will really know let me hurry up and go that way I'm not actually driving out of my apartment complex in the dark I can at least say I started in somewhat of a light sunset period but yeah let's go let's go run these errands I feel like such a loser, but I've actually never been in a car wash where you have to put your car in neutral and then just let it like go through. Usually it's the kind where you just pull in and it does the wash. So I like, <laughs> I really embarrassed myself with the intend attendant out here. But I do like, I noticed that in Vegas, all the car washes have an attendant. Whereas in Pennsylvania, you had to figure it out on your own. So that's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna try this filming while driving thing. If my camera falls one time, that's gonna be the end of it. I think it's holding good. Fingers crossed it does. But yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Yeah, that car wash was weird. I don't know, maybe I'm just a weirdo. Maybe I don't get my car wash that often. <laughs> so it was like, like a fun experience to me, but it's like in Vegas, or Nevada, also that's something else I learned. If you're a local, you don't say Nevada, you say Nevada. Call it Nevada. They don't live here. It's Nevada. So I'm gonna fit in with all the cool kids, so I'm gonna say Nevada now. That way people think, you know, I know what I'm talking about. To run these errands, number one on the list is done, and that was get a car wash. See, here's my list. Um, now I'm gonna go to the mall. I forget what the name of this mall is called. I should probably figure it out real soon because I have to put it into the GPS. And then also, I want to get Christmas gifts for the white elephant at work. I have a feeling they're all gonna get prank type, dip, type gifts. I mean, it doesn't matter, it has to be $20, but I was thinking, actually no. I'm gonna get a nice gift. And then when it comes time to pick gifts, I'm gonna pick my own gift. Is that, is that selfish? Is that unchristianly? <laughs> to do that. I also have to get a white elephant gift for, um, let me over, let me over, okay. I also have to get a white elephant gift for, um, I'm going to like this ladies uh, Christmas party, ugly sweater Christmas party. I can put this down because <laughs> I'm driving. I don't know where I'd be going yet. I know like, I know like where the basic things are <laughs> and basics for me are dollar store, Walmart, Target. Um, yeah. But I know where the basics are, but like I've gone to two malls. There's the fashion show mall, which is right um, like south of the strip. Like you can see the strip from the fashion show mall. But then there's this other mall that I went to 
and it was pretty nice. I didn't really look around too, too much. All right, I have this store. Hold on a second. What store was I going to that other day? I was going to Forever 21, and then I ended up going to H&M. Hold on a second. Forever 21. <laughs> Forever 21. <laughs> oh my gosh, remember that video? Oh yeah, then I just have to get like a little bit of like odds and ends here and there type stuff. Oh, side note. The Miguel album came out on Friday. I've been listening to it. He is so talented and just, I don't know. I'm so glad that I listened to Miguel. I've been a long time fan. A lot of my friends are fans too. Um, I've been listening to him and Sam Smith and I don't know. I've just been on my like grown people music lately. Just like, I don't know, like. I just feel grown as opposed to listening to Drake and stuff like that, but I don't know. But I'll talk to you guys when I get to the mall. Talk to you later. So I made it to the Galleria Mall. Um, it's now officially dark outside. I can't believe I started my day this late, but it is what it is. Hopefully they don't close at five o'clock because that would be bad because it's five o'clock right now. But um, I am not gonna spend money on unnecessary things. Like I said, um, I'm tr I really try to save money. I'm not trying to have this throw me off or anything like that. I'm just now noticing I am parked so crooked, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just been weirdly like distracted and stuff like that. It's so weird when people watch you vlog. I'm in the safety of my car. Why are they looking at me? Oh my gosh. Walk away. Stop staring. <laughs> I mean, people Snapchat all the time. People are always texting on their phones. Why is it not a social norm to vlog? You mind your business. Just like you should not stare at people um, when you're or point at people. Don't stare at people when you see them vlogging. I don't know. It's just weird. Don't do it. I gotta get this stuff done. Uh, there was something else I was gonna tell you, guys. Oh yeah. So it's so weird that we like had this like. Um, section of time where we weren't talking or whatever <laughs> I feel like we had like a friendship and I just wasn't talking to you guys for a while but um, during that time I don't know why I'm whispering and talking like this but um, yeah so last week I actually got all four wisdom teeth removed out here in Henderson um, and I'm still recovering I haven't been able to eat much I've actually lost two pounds within this week um, just because I haven't been able to eat anything <laughs> Um, so that's also why if you notice I'm talking weird, um, I'm still in like a little bit of pain here and there, but yeah, let me stop procrastinating. So it took me five hours. I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit of a night owl. I like to get my stuff done at night, but got all my purchases. So let me show you guys what I got from the different stores. Do you see that? Y'all see, do you see this? Penny is, he pretends to be sweet, but behind the scenes, be crazy. Be crazy, y'all. So I'm constantly going to the store buying more um, gallons of water. So, yep, water. Fun fact, I can taste the difference between all types of water. I don't even have to look at the label. If I drink it, I'll know where it came from. Purified water, spring water, whatever. But yeah, fun fact. Yeah, so then I went to Target and I got some cotton ovals. I also got some ladies products I don't need to show on screen. Then another thing is I'm trying to like wean myself off of coffee a little bit at a time. And so I got this Maxwell House 
um, French Vanilla Cafe. You know, when you have a Keurig, you just feel so inclined to keep buying K-Cups and everything like that and have coffee. But K-Cups are expensive and you can just make a cup of tea, um, just have the hot water come out of the Keurig. So that's what I'm doing. Pine Soul, hardwood floors here at my new place. And that was just a personal buy, just for me. So for the one white elephant for work, um, and like I said, I work with a lot of guys, so I got these men's crew socks. I'm really, really, really proud of this purchase. It was kind of in the back, like it wasn't on display or anything like that, and I think it'll be a unique gift. And I would have gotten it for both white elephants, but I got this one for the um, work white elephant to this automatic electric wine opener. Then I got this bag, this is just to put that in. I did get this official dictionary of sarcasm. This is for those of us who are better and smarter than the rest of you. And I just thought this was funny because, I, you know, I joke around sarcastic jokes with the guys that work all the time. Like, they're so sarcastic. They're actually some of the funniest people I've ever met. Yeah, so I got these, and this is for the gift exchange, uh, the women's gift exchange that I'm going to. That's also an ugly sweater Christmas party. And the scent, oh so sexy. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Bruh. And I did get this 2018 weekly planner, and it's got little doggies from Barnes & Noble. These wine glasses. I got some mini candy canes to put in both of the bags. It also makes the gift like seem like there's more stuff in there. Tissue paper, gift bags. At Bed Bath & Body Works, I got three wonderful candles. Marshmallow Fireside. I'm sure everyone has heard of this. Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. So this candle was originally graham cracker in the fall. And the last candle that I got was Rose Water and Ivy, and this is a new one. Yeah, and that's everything that I bought um, today when I was out running errands. Just wanted to show you guys. This is daily vlog, so I'm showing you what I'm, hap what I'm actually doing day to day. And I hope you stay tuned and watch tomorrow's vlog. If you haven't watched my past videos, go ahead and watch them. I put a lot of work into them. It may not seem like that to you guys, but I was learning how to use these tools and everything like that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Um, I need to put all this stuff away, get this posted tonight, and get in bed for work tomorrow. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.